Greetings from Brainwire. In this video, I am going to showcase you a quick walkthrough of the Grandstream Wave plugin which we have recently introduced and I will discuss about the configuration part of the Wave plugin as well as its functionalities, its features and how it is to be used in order to make the outbound calls using your CRM application. In this video, the first part of the video consists the configuration part. Here you can see the Grand Stream Wave plugin. First, in order to do the configuration part, we have to do the Epivax configuration. Here, for the UCM 6 XXX series, we have the model which includes UCM 6304A. Yours could be different. Users need to navigate to the extension where they can check which are the extension numbers are applicable and if they want they can have it edited from selecting the editing option then users can go to the extension section and update the extension number the caller id number the call privileges the oath id the password the user settings the first name the last name email address and the wave password once all the details are being updated they can click to the save button now they have the option to modify the call services provider. Here you can see the Airtel, the international Airtel. In our case, we are uh, using Tulio. In your case, it would be different. So that for that, uh, editing options are already been there. Then we have the option for outbound routes and managing extensions. So managing the extensions first, users have to allow the extensions that they want to use it. So here you can see the options so within the arrow section that they have to add to the extension number and once they click into the checkbox the extension would be allowed by the user then the enable source caller id whitelist enable source caller id whitelist checkbox also need to be checked by the users then uh, the user can also see the whitelisted extensions which are already there the list you can set the call duration limit or if you want you can skip it once all the details are updated you can click into the save button now in the first part the first configuration in, is done the second part calls for the api configuration for the api configurations users must need to navigate to the api configuration portion and they have to enable the api they have to tick the checkbox and call control checkbox and once both the checkboxes are being ticked the users need to click into the save button once the save button is updated then you have the option to add you have to add the extension details and uh, if you want to edit you can edit it from here if you want to uh, delete you can delete it from here then comes the api configuration and the address whitelisting uh, section uh, you have to go to the api configuration then you have to add the username the password the address whitelist in the white address whitelist section you have to add the ip address that you would like to whitelist once you have added all the details, you have to go to the save button. Next comes for the HTTPS API setting. You have to enable and tick the checkbox for the enable. Add all the details uh, for the calls such as the TLS, the bind address, the username, the password, the permitted IP address that would be reflected over here. And you have to click into the save button. Next is the selecting API options for which uh, you have to uh, select the API configuration first you have to go to the API configuration you have to navigate over there then comes the HTTPS API that is old for which API module you have to tick the checkbox for CDR API you have to tick the checkbox for REC API and again you have to enable the checkbox for PMS API once all the checkboxes details are being enabled then you can click into the save button in order to proceed as discussed in the first part of the video i have discussed about the configuration part of the wave plugin which is named as grand Steve wave plugin now i will show you how to install the plugin in your crm this is your crm first you have to go to the admin section you have to navigate over there then check for module loader click into module loader and you have to upload the package which you have purchased from the store by clicking into the section of upload you can upload then comes 
the section for installation and accept. Once you have installed and accept the plugin, the plugin has been installed in your system. Then again, you have to go to the admin section and check for repair. Navigate over there and click into quick repair and rebuild. By clicking into quick repair and rebuild, you have to execute the query and return back to the administration page. After that, you have to add the license key. The license key must be the one which you have purchased from the store. Once you have updated the license key, you have to validate it. If the license key is the accurate one, it will show you a success message, a success notification. Then you have to configure the web settings. In order to configure the web settings, please configure it from the web settings. You first have to enable by clicking into this section enable wave and you have to enter the wave redirect URI and click into save. Now congratulations you have installed the wave grandstream wave plugin in your CRM system in order to make the outbound calls. Now I will show you how to make the outbound calls. Firstly you have to go to the profile section and you have to enter the wave extension number which you have. I have updated and entered the wave extension number and click into the save button. Once you have saved, you check once that whether you have logged into your wave application or not. As you can see, I have already logged into my wave application. You can perform login and logout by using the profile. Now return back to the CRM. Go here and click into wave auth. Once you click into the wave auth, it will navigate you to the dashboard section from where you can make calls i'll add my number in order to make calls once you call here you will see it is it it is ringing click here i have picked up the call here you can see my call is being recording now i will disconnect the call once you have disconnected the call, it is showing the disconnected option and it will give you an option or an, a functionality to add or enter a note. Click into save. Here in this case, uh, this number for which I have uh, made an entry for the call, I have received this number as a contact details. So here, once you go into the call section, or the activity section in order to check the details of the call details you can see that it it is navigating you to a towards a contact details now you have to go to the activity section for calls and you can check all the details which are related to this call i will click here here it is showing that subject start time and date the status outbound call call duration it was 14 seconds and the note which I have recently added as dear customer, please call back. It is there. Status and the contacts. As mentioned that this for this number, I have already saved one contact details. That is why it is shown over here as the contacts. It can also show into the contact sub panel. If I have already saved this number as a lead, it would have shown under the lead section. For, but for this number, I have only saved the contact details. That is why it is showing the contacts. Now, if I have to check the contact details also, I can see that the call details are already there within the history section. CRM users can also make calls using the call detail view. If I have to click over here, I can also make another call by this section. Now I will show you another case what will happen if you have already called one recipient and they have not received your call instead they have rejected the call. So I will try to make another call. Once I click here it uh, within the UI section it will uh, also showcase uh, the wave pop up for that we have to accept. I am making call this is the wave pop up I have to accept. So here you can see 
uh, the call has not been received by the recipient for which we have uh, made an attempt to make the call outbound call instead the uh, user has uh, the recipient has disconnected the call that is why we have not received the option to add or enter any note so we have to make sure that whenever the call is getting received by the recipient then only we have the option to enter or add any note for this so this is about the wave plugin how it is to be used by the user i have given you uh, both the configuration walkthrough within the first part of the video and within the second part of the video i have showcased you how to use how to install the wave application in your crn system for effortlessly in order to make the seamless calls to your customers to your leads to your prospects and how you can make it used in order to check the call duration the notes and the history details for wave calling plugin thank you so much for watching this video